Hey Pixies, today we're doing jelly tip application and I will have a jelly tip fill in and jelly tip removal video as well. So I'm kind of filming them out of order. I just did the removal video and now we're going to apply some. So for this, I have the mini Bellavina lamp that came with the mini gel tip kit. And then I have the Bellavina premium liquids. And I have some nail files, a cuticle pusher and cutter. And I already pulled out my jelly tip sizes here. These are the short, um, short coffin. So the thumb is a two, the index and ring are a four, the middle finger is a three, and the pinky is an eight. So I am going to be applying them today. And to get started, I am going to take my cuticle pusher and I am going to gently push back each of my cuticles and if there's any excess product like I have a little bit right there I'm just going to scrape that off as well and once I push them back I just go around then with this side and kind of scrape off any of that excess that's on there I try not to cut them unless I absolutely have to so I may have a couple of spots here and there my last jelly tip set was on for seven going on eight weeks so i had them on a long time i just have a little bit of excess product here from when i just removed them a little bit of the Blue gel was on there. So I'm just trying to get that off the edges. You wanna make sure there's no product or invisible cuticle there because what will happen is it can cause lifting because as your nail grows out, it's not on the actual nail, but it's on that product. So I'm just gonna do this on each of the nails and then I'm going to use a nail file to kind of clean up the rest. So I have this little bit with a little ball on the end. <laughs> I'm going to use that to clean up my cuticle area a little bit. And this is the Bellavina nail drill for Double Dip. Bellavina is the sister company of Double Dip. And I have a discount code that will work on anything at the Double Dip store except the mystery box. It's Pixie 20. It will save you 20%. And then the mystery box, I have a code for that as well, which will be down below to get you a free item. Now I have it on forward since I'm working with my right hand on my left. And I have it on 12 right now. And I'm just going to go around that cuticle area. I kind of do little strokes so I'm not holding it in one place for too long. And I'm just going to kind of pull the skin back and remove anything at that cuticle area because like I said, if your prep is not good and you have excess cuticle or product there, your products will not adhere properly. Okay, so I have to be careful on this finger because I had some cuts from work and every time I'm doing my nails now, they get inflamed. The other one's healed, but the one on my index finger, those ones, see, they just keep flaring back up. So I have to be careful with that. This is an alcohol prep pad. I'm going to clean off all of that dust. And this will also help remove oils. Once you do this, I would recommend not touching anything because this is helping to remove oils from your nails so don't even touch your hair or your face or scratch your arm or anything just don't touch this hand on anything <laughs> my poor cuticle i am just going to rough up the inside of each of the nails and i hold it like this that way, if the bit slips, it touches my skin, not the corner of the bit um, 
corner of the jelly tip and mess that up. So I'm just roughing up the part that will definitely be up against my nail. My nails are a little longer than they were before, so I'm going about halfway up. And I'm going to do that on each of these. Normally I would have done that sooner, like at the beginning, but since I didn't, I'm just gonna wipe off just to make sure I don't have any dust on there. So the premium liquids. I love this box. I love holographic stuff. So the premium liquids come with a bonder, a primer, a glue-on gel, and a top coat. So these are the premium liquids. And I was going to do almond on that hand as well, but as you can see the tip of that finger, I all of these were chipped and I had to fix them because I hadn't gotten pictures yet. The almond are chipping a lot faster with my peel base, so I just decided I'm going to do coffin on this hand, and I might switch these. Not yet, because I just put them on like a week ago. So first you take the protein bond, and I was watching another video from a nail tech, and she said that, um, if you're having problems with lifting, just do two layers of the bond. And she said that she does it on every client just to be sure that they won't have lifting. So I just do two layers just to be sure. That way you know that if you missed a spot, you probably didn't miss the same spot twice and you're just completely covered. And since I've started doing that, my jelly tips have been lasting me until I take them off. And I usually like, you can see the mark, that's where it was before. That's how much growth I had. Um, it was on seven going on eight weeks last time. So I just make sure I do two and then they're good until I'm ready to remove them. So the protein bond will air dry. So I'm gonna go in with that second layer of the protein bond. And bonders, like they dry out your nail and make sure it's all prepped for any products that you're putting on. And I'm probably using a little too much. You don't need that much. We're really soaking it there. So I'm going to let that air dry. And like I said, just make sure you're not touching your nail surface on anything. Once that is dry, we're going to take the adhesive primer and we're going to apply that. It's like a it dries kind of tacky, so it helps everything adhere. So I'm just going to apply that like you would nail polish on the entire nail, and this air dries as well. And after I'm done doing that, I'm going to apply it to the insides of the jelly tip where I roughed it up. I'm going to do a layer in there and let that air dry too. Okay, now I'm going to take the press-on glue gel, which you could use the four-in-one gel that came with the mini kit if you would like. Just make sure that whenever you have your lamp on that all of your liquids are away from the lamp. I had this brush harden on me, but after it sat in there a couple of weeks, it wasn't hard anymore, so that's good. Now how I've been doing it is I take a bead and I put it on and then I kind of brush it all over the nail. And now, since this will vary, if you have an apex to your nail, you won't need as much product. If you don't, you're gonna need a lot like me. <laughs> so let's see, I turn it over. I'm going to turn that on, move those away. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I forgot a step, okay. 
So that's okay to sit in there. I'm going to apply this. It's the glue on gel to my entire nail and cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, now the Bella Vina, the mini lamp only goes 60 seconds. So I just count out 30 seconds. Okay. Now the gel didn't move since it's gel, it didn't really go anywhere. I'm going to start at my cuticle just above it and slowly press down. And if I don't have enough product, which I do not have enough product, you can see because you'll see it spread out on your nail, I slide it off and I'm going to apply more product because like I said, I have no apex, so I really need to make sure everything's filled in. I turned on the lamp and I'm slowly pressing down. Still don't have enough product. Slide down. Add some more. I told you guys I have no apex, so I have to add a good bit of product. Okay, hopefully this is enough. <laughs> Slide it down. Yep. And then I go over to the lamp and I hold it in place for about 10 seconds or so. Okay. So before I do the full cure, I take an alcohol prep pad and you have to be really careful. And I'm going to just try to wipe up any of this gel that is back behind. Okay, so I'm gonna do a full cure of 60 seconds. Okay, so we did our full cure and it took me a while to get the right amount of product. What was always happening was I would have too much and then I would get that excess product all over the tip area. So it took me a while. So if you're struggling with that, just know it just takes some practice to see how much you need. And if it happens um, while I'm doing this, I'll show you kind of what I do to remove it. And if it's on for a couple of days, you can usually take a cuticle pusher and kind of scrape it off the inside. So I'm gonna, I just applied the press on glue gel. I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to take the glue gel and if you wanna see what it looks like, it's just a really thick, it's not quite as thick as builder gel, um, but it's pretty thick. It reminds me more of the consistency of a gel top coat. So I'm just gonna put that bead there and then push it up the sides a little. And then once I have it spread out over where we filed, I'm going to take another bead and put it there on the tip. I'm gonna turn on my lamp so I can easily just go right over to it. Start at the cuticle. And slowly press down. That's a little bit too much product. So what I'm gonna do is take my alcohol wipe while I'm holding it with my other finger and kind of wipe out that excess. And we're still good. I just have to make sure it's on straight because I have issues with my index finger. All right, so I'm gonna hold it down and go over to the lamp and count out about 15 seconds. Okay, and now I am going to take a look at it. I think we're good, but I'm just gonna wipe this corner because my nails are a little bit more narrow than the actual tip and there's a little bit of excess there so i'm just going to pull that back and now i'm going to do a full cure of 60 seconds okay i have a little bit of excess there but i don't think it's going to wipe out at this point nope it's just a little bit right there okay so i'm going to be repeating that and yes it is slightly crooked I will just file some extra off this side whenever I'm shaping them. So I'm going to be applying the glue on gel to my nails and repeating those steps with the jelly tip. If I run into anything weird, I'll come back on and explain. Otherwise, I'll just be repeating those steps.
we have excess product. I am going to go in with my drill, but I'm gonna first try to scrape off whatever I can because this is such a smooth surface that that glue on gel does not want to stick to it. So it kind of pops off. Just be careful you're not taking skin off with it too, please. <laughs> and I have to be really, really careful with this finger because I have those little wounds that I keep irritating more and more and more and they're never gonna heal because <laughs> I'm always irritating them. Take this little bit here and we're going to clean everything up. I have it on 10. So anywhere I have extra product, I'm gonna try not to go on the actual surface, like go over the whole nail because I usually don't do anything to the nail. You can top coat it with the top coat that's included, but I don't. Now I'm actually going to reshape them a little bit. So I'm gonna take my glass nail file and go around the edges a little bit more and thin them out slightly. I like them to be a little bit more thin on the side. Okay, I rinsed off my nails and I am done at this step. Now, if you do not use peel base, you would want to buff the surface, roughen it up, and then apply your gel products or dip powders. If you do use peel base, I just go right in on top of these with my peel base and it's fine because they're perfectly smooth. You could apply the gel base and cure that and then it comes with a no wipe top coat and then cure that but I usually just ride out the actual surface of the jelly tips as long as I can so I am all done with this and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it helps YouTube recommend it to others make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on I have new videos every Monday and Thursday if you have any questions you can leave a comment below or find me on Instagram at sipping pixie also leave a comment and let me know something you'd like me to see or review in the future and watch out for the next jelly tip videos I will have a jelly tip fill in and a jelly tip removal that's it for this one guys and i will see you in the next one